This screencast starts the Setting Financial Goals chapter. Welcome to Unit 10, guys. So checking in, welcome. Welcome to Setting Financial Goals. One of the first steps to financial security is planning and following through on a personal spending plan or budget. Budgeting is about choices, choosing how to make money and choosing how to spend. Purpose, the Setting Financial Goals module will allow you to manage your money. You will prepare a personal spending plan and identify ways to decrease spending and increase income. Objectives. After completing this module, you will be able to track daily spending habits, prepare a personal spending plan or budget to estimate monthly income and expenses. I know some of you guys don't have income yet. That's okay. Think allowance or think money that your parents spend for you. Identify ways to decrease spending and increase income and identify budgeting tools that will help you manage your money. So you've got your copy of this guide already. Use it as a reference. I'll post it on a daily basis to make sure that you know exactly what you need to read. Let's continue. Why create a spending plan? A good way to start taking control of your financial situation is to develop a personal spending plan. What is a personal spending plan? What is the purpose of creating a personal spending plan? Financial goals. Setting financial goals will help you create and stick to a spending plan. Consider your goals when creating a spending plan. They should be realistic. A student working part-time is not likely able to afford a new car in a few years. Be specific. I, want, I plan and want to save $5,000 for a down payment to buy a new Honda Civic. Have a time frame. I plan and want to pay off my credit card within the next 12 months. State the action to be taken. I will ask my bank to transfer a certain amount of funds from my checking account into my savings account each month. Have milestones, for example. My goal is to purchase a bicycle that costs $800 by paying for it without borrowing money. To do so, I asked my employer to transfer $50 from each of my paychecks into a savings account I set up to purchase the bike. Every couple of months, I plan to check to see how much money I have. So basically, guys, what I'm wanting from you here is to understand the purpose of a financial goal. You might not be saving up for a car or a bike, but maybe you want a new book or maybe you want a new movie and your mom or dad is making you save up for it. That's the exact same thing. The purchase might not be as large, but it's still important to be smart financially. Preparing a spending plan. Spending and saving are about choices. Choosing how to use your money. Knowing what your income and expenses are every month will help you take control of your financial situation. You will then be able to meet some financial goals you might set for yourself. There are four steps to creating a personal spending plan. They are 1. Keep track of your daily spending. 2. Determine what your monthly income and expenses are the month before they are due. 3. Find ways to decrease spending. 4. Find ways to increase income. Step 1. Keep track of your daily spending. Do you know where your money goes each month? What do you spend it on? Can you list everything? Have you ever had any money and then spent it but do not remember exactly what you bought? What is the difference between a need and a want? Needs are expenses that are absolutely necessary. Like your house, utilities, which means electric so your lights come on, water, heat so you stay warm in this super cold Pennsylvania winter, things like that. Food and transportation because you need to eat and you need to go different places throughout the day. Once are optional purchases, so mu music, magazines, books, or eating out. So I might really want to get Starbucks in the morning, but do I need it? I do not. Some items can be both a need and a want. For example, you need to eat, but you should pack a lunch instead of paying to eat out at a restaurant or cafeteria every day. If you want to be in control of your money, you must understand where your money goes. 
One way to do that is to complete a personal spending diary to record everything you spend. It is particularly important to track the money you spend on optional purchases or wants, like going out to eat or seeing a movie. Now that we've finished the reading, you're going to go back to today's lesson and you're going to go ahead and watch that Brain Pop video. When you're finished watching the Brain Pop video, go ahead and take the quiz. Don't worry. You will get a grade for completing it. You will not receive a grade for how many questions you get right or wrong. And then submit me a screenshot so I can see all the work you did. If you have any questions today, email or call anytime. Good luck!